Week one brought us some excitement, some heartbreak, and everything in between. Let's talk about week two. here back to another video and today we're going through my picks for week two I'm not gonna waste any time with this let's just jump right in Minnesota taking on Philadelphia Minnesota they suffered a week one one score loss after not having one last year well we knew it was gonna happen eventually Philadelphia meanwhile they survived a late scare against the New England Patriots I'm gonna go Philadelphia on this one Green Bay taking on Atlanta Jordan Love what more can you say? Three touchdown passes, zero interceptions, blowout win over the Chicago Bears. How do the Packers keep doing this again? Meanwhile, Atlanta, they also picked up a divisional win against the Carolina Panthers. Desmond Ritter wasn't his best game. However, did just enough for Atlanta to win. I'm going to go Green Bay on this one. Raiders taking on the Bills. The Raiders picked up a divisional road win against the Broncos last week. Meanwhile, the Bill suffered a tough loss to the Jets that didn't have Aaron Rodgers for most of the game and gave up a punt return touchdown in overtime. Yeah, not good for a team that has Super Bowl aspirations. But I say they bounce back and get the win at home. Ravens taking on the Bengals. For the Bengals, there might not have been a more disappointing team than them last week. They only scored three points and Joe Burrow was held to under 100 yards passing. But the Ravens, I can only think of one other team that was hit hard with injuries other than them. I mean, Ronnie Stanley and Tyler Linderbaum, they're going to be out and missing a couple of weeks. Torn peck for Marcus Williams. He's going to be out for a while, maybe the entire season. And J.K. Dobbins, torn Achilles, done for the season. And don't forget, Marlon Humphrey and Mark Andrews didn't even play week one. They're already getting hit with injuries. And now you're going up against the Bengals team that's motivated and just suffered a blowout loss. Yeah, uh, Bengals are going to win this one. The second most disappointing team was probably the Seahawks. They lost at home to the Los Angeles Rams. Meanwhile, for the Lions, they won the first NFL game of the season when they took down the Super Bowl defending Kansas City Chiefs. And I say they pick up a win against the Seahawks. Sorry, Seattle. Indianapolis taking on Houston. First things first, for Indianapolis, let's just hope Anthony Richardson's okay and he's going to be able to play in this game. But, man, did he have a solid performance in Week 1. Even though they lost the game, he definitely showed some things out on the field. And C.J. Stroud uh, wasn't bad either. Going up against the Ravens team and was getting pressure for most of the game, he did all right himself. Both these quarterbacks definitely showed what they can be in the future. As for this game, I'm going to go with the home team and go with the Texans. KC taking on Jacksonville. KC, you know how motivated they're going to be. Just got Chris Jones back. He signed a one-year extension. Hopefully, Travis Kelsey's going to be out on the field. Meanwhile, Jacksonville picked up a divisional win against the Indianapolis Colts. Trevor Lawrence and that team is picking up right where they left off. I'm going to go with KC on this one, but expect this to be a very good game. Chicago taking on Tampa Bay. Both these teams I had mentioned before. Chicago lost to Green Bay. Didn't even look close for most of the game. Tampa Bay gave Minnesota their first one-score loss in the regular season since two years prior. I'm going to go Tampa Bay on this one. Chargers taking on Tennessee. Can the Chargers just get out of their own way? They blew the lead late in the game to Tua and the Dolphins. Meanwhile, Tennessee, yeah, Ryan Tannehill did not look great in that game. We'll see how much longer he's going to be the starter if he keeps playing like that. As for this game, give me the Chargers. Giants taking on Arizona for the Giants. I don't think there was a team that had a worse week one performance. They gave up 40 points, got shut out on national TV to their division rival. As for Arizona, not a bad showing against the Commanders. They gave themselves a chance, weren't able to pull off the win. But they were competitive. That's more than we can say about what we thought going into this year. I'm still going to go with the Giants in this game, though. San Francisco taking on the Rams. San Francisco, I am sorry I doubted you. I am sorry I doubted you. You proved me and anybody else that doubted you wrong right away. Rams, great win on the road against Seattle. Give me San Francisco. Jets taking on the Cowboys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All this hype, all of the hope, 
gone. Four offensive plays into the season for the Jets. Aaron Rodgers out for the year with a torn Achilles. We'll see what Zach Wilson can do. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, I had mentioned 40 nothing to the Giants. National TV. Now they're back home. Give me the Cowboys. Washington taking on Denver. For Washington, as I had mentioned, picked up the win week one against the Arizona Cardinals. Sam Powell had a pretty solid performance. Meanwhile, for Denver, uh, yeah, lost to the Raiders, and they better pick up some wins soon or else you're going to hear the complaints from Broncos fans. I'm going to go with them over Washington. Miami taking on New England. For New England, they got in a hole early against the Eagles. They were able to climb out of it, but could not complete the comeback. Miami did complete the comeback. Able to pick up a win against the Chargers. Tua, Tyreek, and that offense picked up right where they left off. They keep Tua healthy. They could go far. And I'm going to go with them over the Patriots. First of two Monday night games, New Orleans taking on Carolina. Carolina suffered a loss against the Falcons. Bryce Young had his ups and downs. Hopefully he gets better as the season goes on. Meanwhile, for the Saints, able to grind out a win against the Titans. And I'm going to go with them over their division rival. And our final matchup is going to be Cleveland taking on Pittsburgh. This is why I try to avoid making predictions. I'm always wrong. Why did I hype up the Steelers? That was the kiss of death for them in week one. Oh my goodness, that was just not a good game against the 49ers. But meanwhile, for Cleveland, they proved the doubters wrong, at least for week one. After dominating the Bengals 24-3 week one, just shut down Burrow in that offense. Deshaun Watson, he was spectacular, but he did enough for them to win. Nick Chubb had over 100 yards. And I'm going to go with them over Pittsburgh. All right, guys, those were my picks for week two. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.